Rose for PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 12th to the 18th of November. So this week, as you can see, I am down at the River Ganges in Rishikesh, India and this is, if you don't already know, India's holy river and it, this setting matches really well for the astrological themes of this week. So first of all, we have got Venus finally moving direct, so no more Venus retrograde, and that's going to be really helpful for you because basically it's going to take you a little bit out of your head where you've probably over the last few weeks had, you know, thoughts of like relationship worries or perhaps, you know, uh, things have been changing for you. Maybe if you're single, you've had like a, a kind of realization of how you interact with other people or within your own relationship if you're t if you're with a partner. You've probably had lots of lessons that have been learned, trying to learn from each other, trying to figure things out so that everything can flow a little bit better. And now the time for that flow to happen has come. So yeah, we'll be feeling like this weight lifted from our shoulders where we don't have to keep focusing on, you know, how am I with other people and how are my relationships serving me and, you know, this over analysis that we've had recently. So then Mars into Pisces. For you, this would be perhaps a little bit of a strange energy because Mars is fire and Pisces is water. We've got all this lovely water here, but you're an air sign. So how are you going to figure that out in a way? And basically, this is going to be, for you, a chance to try some different things out. So perhaps you might want to try something that is quite spiritual, like a new skill or a new hobby or something, or something creative, you know, maybe you want to go and take an art class, something that is new, because Gemini is all about like new stimulation and changes. So if you can tie these energies together, then you'll have a really nice week and then the rest of Mars in Pisces will flow quite nicely for you. So yeah, make sure that you just, you know, have a look online, see if you can find like a new course to go to or a new class or something. Try some yoga, just do something that is new to you so it still fits in with that Gemini vibe, but it's also still very Mars in Pisces. You're taking action towards something that's spiritual or something creative. So have a lovely week with that Gemini and I hope to see you next time. Much love.